Every summer, thousands of kids travel to a sleepaway camp like no other. Camp Woodward. Here, gymnasts, cheerleaders, and action sports athletes come together for the summer of their dreams to hone their skills, meet new friends, and take their talents to the next level. This season, we follow three amateur skateboarders as they leave friends and family behind in pursuit of one day turning pro. But it's what they're not expecting that will change their lives forever. Camp Woodward, real kids, an unreal summer. I'm 10 years old, and we are here in Oceanside, California. I like to jump on the trampoline, play drums, and skateboard. Gavin was born in South Lake Tahoe. It's a small little ski town up in the Sierras. We're snowboarders. That's the reason we both moved to Tahoe. The first time I saw a skateboard, it was probably about like five years old. I stepped on it, was like riding down the driveway and stuff, and I fell in love with it right then. We actually had a scooter, a bike, and a skateboard. He's like, I want to give this skateboarding a try. Just went for it, you know, and it was natural to him. And that was the beginning. The next day, at 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm laying in bed, and I get this tap on my shoulder. Dad, Dad, can we go skate? And it was just nonstop from there on out. I started skating vert and big bowls and stuff when I was six or seven. I just like going fast around the corners and going big. The first time I like actually aired out of a bowl, it's probably when I was about like six. It's the best feeling you can have. The first time I saw Gavin skate was at Woodward West. Elliot Sloan and I did this mega ramp camp at Woodward West. My parents would do a garage sale to get rid of stuff. I would make like a little lemonade stand and I'd have like a little jar that said, please help me get to Woodward Camp. We had one of his skate movies playing on an iPad and we had a jar that said, help me get to Woodward. People were helping me out a lot. And it was so fun just skating with him. He was just so little and going for it. Fully went for the mega ramp 50 foot gap the first day. I remember asking him how much he weighed and he's like, I weigh 42 pounds. And so that whole week, he was 42 pounds of fury. That ended up being like the hashtag. Let's see it, dude. When I started posting clips, people were just freaking. It's just this little kid, he's like, he's like as 
tall as a trash can, you know? He's like a baby. When you see him in person, I mean, he weighs 50 pounds soaking wet. I weigh about 50, 51 pounds, and I'm about maybe three, three to four feet tall. It's pretty small. When I grow older, I want to be maybe about like five feet or so. It just freaked me out. Like, who is this little kid that's so good already? Like, this thing was just born. How can it do this already? I can, I guess, get around faster because I'm small. The amount of speed it, that he can generate to uh, blast out of bowls, it's pretty cool to watch because that's what he likes to do the most. He just likes to send it. I started skating at BG Skate Park in South Lake Tahoe. It's like a really fun park, but it's really rough. Like from all the snow and rain, there's big cracks everywhere. It's still fun though. We're here at Skate House. After I first went skating, we came here for about 70 days in a row. And I like taking days off. Once we realized that this was like something that he was really pursuing, we decided like, hey, let's go for it. Let's chase some dreams and do everything that we can to help him succeed at, at what he's going for. Down here in, in Southern California, it's like the mecca of skateboarding. We're at Encinitas Skate Plaza. It's about like 20 minutes away from my house. Pretty fun. And the bull, my favorite. It's super flowy. Uh, he just brings the energy to the skate park. It's just so fun, like, he's small, and that makes it even better. So this is my room, this is my bed. It's obviously where I sleep. I've got some boards right here. This is my main board. I skate. I like collecting Legos. This one's probably my favorite. General Grievous from Star Wars. Got a few trophies here. I started skating my first competition when I was about six years old. First place at the El Burrito in South Lake Tahoe some castle contests and King of the Groms, King of the Ams. Right here, do tour. I got third place in Long Beach and Bowl. I just competed in a do tour. I was really stoked I got third. And I also went to X Games. Went to do tour in Long Beach, got third place there. Got an invite to go to X Games. For him, that's just over the moon and back. I mean, it was amazing, amazing experience to even be there, to be invited. It was really cool. I like playing drums. My dad's teaching me right now. That's probably the one thing that he does outside of skateboarding is we play music. He's uh, jamming on the drum set. I'll play some guitar with him. I like to play rock and roll, heavy metal. 
It just gets me pumped up to go skate. It's like, ah! <laughs> me and Gavin, he's, he's my best buddy. I've, I feel so lucky that as his dad that I get to spend so much time with him. Skateboarding, it's really brought us together. Your dad taking you to the skate park every single day, I mean, not every kid has that special relationship with their dad. You couldn't hand me a hundred million dollars to trade in what I got with him. I mean, you can't buy it. I look up to him within his style and the way he talks and everything. I don't have any tattoos yet, but I'm definitely gonna get some because of my dad. This is my brother's room. Drake, say hi. We got, we got a lot of toys. This is where the craziness happens. Drake has his own way of life. Always putting costumes on, running around like a madman. He's four years old. He's wild. <laughs> I'd say the only trouble he really gets into is with his brother. Wrestling and being kids. My turn. Oh! That was too cute. We're about to win Hulk. Okay, that's my brother. He's got such a unique mix of like old school tricks and newer tricks. I don't know where he's picking this stuff up from. I'm always asking myself, like, how did he learn that? Where did he learn that from? How long did that take him? Like, did someone tell him to do that? Or did, like, he's doing like frontside invert reverts and like, that's not like a little kid trick. That's like Mike Frazier or somebody that's like a legendary vert skater. He loves to do those old vert tricks from back in the 80s and 90s. I know he, he's picked a, a lot up from Neil Hendricks. It's a little bit of my influence, I'm sure. He definitely has some of my tricks. He's got a million tricks that I can't do. He's like, you hey, know, check out this run. And he just did like fast plants and slob plants and fast plant fakies. And I'm like, that's it, got all my tricks. When I started working with him, was nine. And the closest kid that I've seen at that age was Nyjah. But totally different, you know, Nyjah's the street wizard and Gavin's kind of like this tranny monster at, at 10. So will he get to Nyjah level? Who knows? But like, it's a. Uh, it's something to see for sure. I mean, dream-wise, he wants to just travel the world, you know, and skate, see new places, meet new people. My dream's definitely to turn pro. That would be like the number one goal. That would be insane. And I've always wanted to go to Australia. It's just awesome there. Hello, mate. It's totally up to him, you know. He's definitely got the skills, he's got the talent. He loves skateboarding, he's like tough as nails. He could be a top pro for sure. Oh man, his future is so bright, it's crazy. Like, he's gonna be around for a while. There's something really special about him. I don't know what it is, it's just that he is adapting so fast and learning so fast. It's like, it's, it's fascinating to see someone like take to skateboarding and do it at that level so quick. I see Gavin as like uh, definitely competing in the X Games, definitely at a pro level. I think Gavin's so young, it's not the Olympics now, it's the, the next one. Eight more years he's going to still be young. Couldn't be more proud. It's amazing. We're on the journey with him, so it's like, yeah. yeah. Living the dream at 10 years old. I mean, I didn't even know what I wanted to be when I was 10 years old. I definitely wasn't <laughs> blasting six feet out of bowls, that's for sure. No. Nope. Woodward is about probably like Disneyland mixed with skateboarding. It's just everything. It's gonna be the greatest experience ever for him. I mean, it's Disneyland on steroids. He's been dreaming of going to Camp Woodward. And now that he gets to go for two weeks, I mean, okay. you kidding me, is as good as it gets. I'm beyond excited, like words can't even explain. Like when I got the news, I was shaking. <laughs> it's crazy because you meet so many different people. Everybody's sharing the same interests of just wanting to skate cool stuff. A 10 year old going to the world's best skate camp, he's gonna do fine. I'm just gonna skate all day and just have fun. He'll probably be on his skateboard or holding his skateboard 
24 seven. He'll probably be sleeping with his skateboard in his bed. I don't have a girlfriend, no, but I want one. <laughs> as far as girls go, I mean, he's definitely interested. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I think I might be able to impress the cheerleaders, hopefully. <laughs> oh, man. Next up, we're headed down to Florida to meet 12-year-old street skater Roman Hager.